Something unexpected Some form of weapon You ask him to feel protected And still feel protected Just one time for Hey guys, uh, Kevin here uh, I'm here to do essentially like a pickups video For uh, I guess the first half of 2021 Starting off, I guess we'll start off with The ALD 1300s I Actually got two pairs of these I'm trying to sell one of them just because I don't think I need two pairs. Here is the 1300 in the green. Uh, I've actually worn this quite extensively. Um, I This is probably my daily driver for the most part. Um, it's in my rotation quite frequently. I wear them maybe twice a week, three times a week, and for like the full day, etc. Uh, they're a good shoe. They're a good shoe. Uh, ALD announced this as like a pre-order last year, if I remember correctly. Uh, got them in. Great. Like no real complaints. Uh, they too look a bit dusty uh, since I got them. So the 1300s, great running silhouette. And then the P550s. 550s, uh, if you guys remember, I did do like a quick review of the first batch. I think I got most of the colors. Uh, I just wasn't feeling them because it just felt like it lacked a little bit more uh, versatility. It felt like a very, very basic sneaker, which there's so many basic sneakers out there. Uh, I don't really need one. That's, well, it's kind of contradictory. I have some basic sneakers that you guys will see uh, coming next, but I thought the P550, uh, I didn't really like the first batch. I really do like this batch though. I do like the amount of color variation in the green, the yellow, and the cream, as well as this like almost um, toffee, dark gold colored lace. I thought this was a really nice touch. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of for the 550 model in general is just how big the tongue tag is. I may just cut it and remove it. I think it just kind of adds too much uh, visual noise for my taste, but yeah, so this has also been in my rotation quite frequently. Uh, as you can tell, I have put in some miles into this already. Uh, I think this is a very clean silhouette. Uh, the sole of this feels very, very durable. Another comment is that the 1300s, they are already kind of wearing down on me, like the sole and the end cap area is already chipping. And sure, given I've had these for a few more months than the 1300 or than the P550s, uh, but I think the 1300 did cost more as well as I did wait longer for them. So I just thought they would be of a higher caliber. Sure, it's just paint chipping, nothing too big. There's no rips and tears of the upper and the bottom of them are still looking okay. So yeah, these are the two ALD pickups. Uh, personally, I think the 1300s, they aren't too comfortable. I put an extra kind of insole in it to make it more comfortable, even though I thought this would be more comfortable, but the 550s with their thick, thick insole, I think these are a little bit more comfortable. Uh, sizing wise, I'm at true to size for both of them. Uh, the true to size for the 550s fit perfectly fine for me. The 1300s, it is a little bit big. Um, but with that extra insole, I think it kind of makes up for that extra room and I thought it fit nicer with an extra insole in it. So I would size down half a size for the 1300s, maybe go true to size for the 550s. The Nike Dunk Low, uh, the Nike Bayou Dunk Lows. Uh, I remember the first time when they launched this creation, uh, I had such a terrible time trying to check out. It was fucking terrible um like literally like nothing went through and then i think on the most recent restock i was able to pick this up this is based vaguely off the paris or not the paris uh the tokyo dunk um i really wish they would re-release that i think it's such a clean uh canvas dunk low uh i just thought it would be an amazing time to re-release it given that a lot of the pairs out there are destroyed or they're over you know, 10 grand, whatever you call it. But 
this is sort of like an homage to it and you can't really go wrong with an all white upper or cream upper with a gum bottom. I thought the gum bottom was a nice touch. Uh, I made the swoosh a suede, the back heel suede, and the eye stays a suede. Uh, I will have to say the suede on the swoosh is much nicer than the back tab and uh, the eye stays. I don't necessarily know why. Um, I also was not a huge fan of the laces that were provided. They were just a cheap, uh, like almost synthetic feeling lace. I swapped it out for a pair of cream laces that I interestingly uh, still have from my Sneeze Club C. I think those are honestly the best cream laces I've ever encountered and I've had plenty of Foxtrot uniform, I've had plenty of other companies, even New Balance has a plenty of them, but it's just a thicker, um, I don't know, a thicker, more maybe more, uh, more weave count or something like that. It just feels very dense and very premium and durable. So yeah, I've been putting a lot of miles into this as well. So these three are pretty much what I've been wearing uh, to work and like my day to day. Oh, another touch is on the back. I just customized them to just say Air instead of like Nike Air or anything like that. So I thought these were really cool. Uh, yeah, I went true to size with these fit fine. The leather quality, not terrible, not the greatest either. Next pickup is, I've been posting this a lot, my Hender Scheme NMDs. So just to be fully honest, I think Adidas has been really pulling out a lot of amazing uh, quality things. I mean, like obviously the Hender Scheme ones are from way back, but their Wales Bonner uh, collaborations have been really nice. Their Daniel Craig uh, stuff has been really cool. Same with, I mean, a lot of the Yeezy stuff, the more recent models, the 450 and like whatever they're gonna be producing in the future. Um, I think those have been very, very nice, very well thought out. Same with how Pharrell, his shoes now are a bit more accessible. I can really give two shits about the hype of it. But yeah, I just wanted to say Adidas has been doing really well. Putting that aside, these are super sick. I think there's only a few hundred worldwide and this must have been such a pain in the butt to produce. Just the fact that you're trying to make a sock-like shoe out of leather, this must have been like, because it's it's pretty much like a one piece construction of just veg tan leather just wrapping around this and like them sewing it in the back or the side or wherever. Um, it must have been like a huge pain in the butt. Also making these guys, the leather insults, inserts, uh, pardon. Um, yeah, I decided to lace these up with the wax laces that came with the shoe. Uh, they aren't the most comfortable, I will have to say, but I think with breaking them in, I think they'll become much nicer with wear, obviously like most Hender Scheme items. Uh, I did give this a nice shine. It still has a little bit of wear from the times that I would really put this in wear. Uh, I'm still trying to break these guys in. Uh, they're still relatively new, I'll say. A uh, few other accessories. I don't know exactly what these are. It looks like maybe spare leather cuts, but they were inside the shoe, almost like protecting the inner lining, which I thought was a bit interesting. Um, and here are, I think these are, this is like faux leather uh, laces because they don't feel like actual full veg tan leather. Uh, yeah, uh, I think Originally, yeah, this retailed for like a thousand dollars, which I think is kind of crazy. Uh, I picked these up for a really, really good price, probably around two something, three hundred something. Um, I thought these were an amazing shoe, and I think people will come to appreciate it as time goes on. I remember when I initially saw this, I was like, okay, that's cool, like whatever. But uh, just seeing it and having it in hand, I think I really do appreciate the craftsmanship of a Hender Scheme item. Uh, as well as the time that they put into their initial collaboration. I know they're more recent ones, they aren't made in Japan and they aren't uh, like crafted like this, but uh, I wish that they would sort of go back to it. 
maybe they both saw that there wasn't that much of a demand for it, so maybe they just scrapped it in entirety. These are amazing shoes. Uh, the Akold Wall Air Force One High. Uh, this was, I believe in 20, 2017 or 2016, Samuel Ross and Nike Lab London uh, collaborated on this pair. I believe retail was like 400, 500 or something like that. And even when they did that, they lost money on it because this is actually, for each of the pairs that released, it's actually a bespoke pair. And if you guys don't know about bespoke uh, like Nikes, they only allow it for certain customers, certain high profile customers. And it costs almost three times, four times as much uh, as a standard, I guess, product, obviously because they make it in-house um, and they have specialty materials that they let uh, their clients try out. I'm not exactly sure if the bespoke program is still going on. I know in New York they had it and well, I'm assuming London as well, but these are bespoke so they weren't, um, I think they weren't produced with just like the same old like materials. And this was just made in a higher caliber. Uh, I have worn these a couple times. These are probably my favorite Air Force One highs right next to the Ama Manier um, cold or hand wash only or something like that, or machine wash only, cold wash only. Uh, I really do like these, just the aggressive look. The tongue is slightly taller. Um, the only two cutouts, as well as the uh, kind of dubre is aged and oxidized. So it has like some greening in the metal. Uh, I also like the a cold wall detailing just right there. It, it, just everything, the, the hit of that industrial yellow. This is definitely one of the grills that I've had. Um, yeah, just such a, such a clean looking shoe and just a very aggressive looking shoe, uh, I might say. So these guys, amazing, amazing. A pair of Stan Smiths that I kind of customized. I had them kind of painted over. I wanted to give this a try. Uh, I was inspired by the Margiela German Army trainers that I, I always liked how they looked and I thought I'd give it a go on both this as well as I'll show you guys a forum low uh, I really really like the colors that I've used I'm still still learning on what's the best application for the paint as well as maybe still refining the color palette that I use uh, but I think it actually came out really nice. Moving on to the next one. These are the form lows that I also did sort of like a messy paint job as well as I did a slight custom. So the form lows, they usually come with a strap. I removed that. I removed this sort of protective uh, stitching and I kind of undid the wings almost. But here is how it came out. I personally liked the colors on this a little bit more, but I think the application was a little bit crazy. I think I went a little bit overboard on the paint, but I still like it. Yeah, the form low and the form high are just super, super nice and wearable silhouettes. Personally, I thought the form low looks better without the straps, but the high looks better with the straps. So here's the Orbit Gray, I believe is the color. The Orbit Gray. The leather quality on this is actually phenomenal. I really do like it. I've worn it plenty of times. I almost want to say that it's getting close to the 85 OG Jordan 1. Maybe even in texture it feels a little bit nicer, but not as thick cut of a leather. But very, very nice. Very nice. Very comfortable. The the sole itself is a little bit more pliable than the sole used in Jordan, so I appreciate that. Keep on rolling with Adidas. It is the 700 V3 Kyanite, I believe, or Kyanite. I like the 700 V3. I've had uh, the Safflower colorway as well as the Azale colorway. I liked both of them. Uh, I decided to get rid of them, but this one, I personally think it's like one of the better of the colorways. I didn't like the other blue one because I thought it was just 
bit too blue. Uh, this one I think is like a nice healthy medium. Yeah, the frozen blue looking one, I was not a huge fan. Uh, I, I just like how this looks. And I wish they had an option uh, where if I wanted to pay a little bit more that they would include boost because that's the only drawback that I see is that this just doesn't have boost in it. Um, so it makes for a bit less of a comfortable shoe, uh, in my opinion, but the ortholite insole does help. Shoes for the jump man. Almost done with the shoes, guys. So, so lucky enough to win these at Kith. Here is the OG 85 natural or neutral gray. I like these. Um, I like these. I haven't worn them, sadly. Uh, just because of the fact that I'm not, I don't know, like I, I don't currently feel like I want to break them in. You kind of get what I'm saying where I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be a commitment. If I'm going to break these in, I need to wear them quite religiously, but I just have so many other, you know, shoes that I want to break in and that I feel like these ones, I can pretty much break out at any time. And... I haven't worn these, but part of me feels guilty for not wearing these just because I've been waiting for these guys to retro for like the past two years. And when they finally did, uh, I just ended up not wearing these. Note, note that these are not very comfortable. I, I will have to say I swapped out probably my most comfortable insole. And even with that, I think it's, it's like a mid. Um, where usually like it made my Union Jordan ones feel so, so much more comfortable. This one, it's still a bit stiff and I'm assuming it has to do with, um, instead of it being a fiber board or that it's like some sort of cardboard that's in there now, uh, kind of like the OGs, I'm, a, I'm attributing it to that, but yeah, like I've actually had two pairs of these and, uh, the quality of it, I'm not not too not too satisfied in my opinion uh there were some nicks there were some glue stains there were some uh like pen markings on some of mine but these ones the ones i ended up keeping are nice so keep an eye out for the ones that you guys get either at like secondhand uh, marketplaces or anything like that but yeah these are nice these are nice um i do I do want to wear them soon, but there's just so much going on, but I'm still happy that I have these in my collection. Last, I guess, sneaker is, uh, you guys already know, probably one of the most comfortable shoes uh, that Jordan has released in a while. These are the Fragment 3s. I'm still debating on picking up another pair. I think these are such a clean colorway. Uh, a lot of people really liked them at one at like at like some point and then they dropped them and then the prices tanked and then I ended up picking up a pair aftermarket and then I'm thinking about picking up another pair because I struck out uh, on the OG release but uh, yeah the quality is not bad uh, the black leather the black smooth leather is actually quite nice but the rest of the leather kind of feels like uh, if you guys have had the the all red like Jordan 3 from when they released that All-Star Weekend feels like that, or it feels like uh, those fire red 3s in a weird way. But yeah, I like the inner lining. The inner lining, the textile that they used was really nice, but yeah, just a nice Orca colorway, very clean. Got mine uh, yellowed, if that makes sense. Like I bought it off of GOAT and it was like 20, $30 cheaper just because it had like a yellow defect. And I'm like, dude, like that's not a big deal breaker for me. Oh, I have two boots. As you can see, both Yeezy season four boots, my favorite boots from Kanye. The season four boots, these are so nice. I love the aggressive sole. I love the the just like silhouette of it. The, the like very, very minimal padding on the side. It just looks very militant, if you get what I'm saying. I love these with like 
jeans or my acronym P10s or these even work very well with cargos. Uh, lo love, love, love this oil colorway. The oil colorway looks so like, so stealth. And this other colorway, I think it's the sand color. Love these, love these. These work really well with like lighter colored jeans. And if you want to look a little bit more like uh, like Milspo or like military um, sort of vibe. Like that looks like like covert operations. This just looks like classic military stuff. Um, love both of these. Uh, I really, like these are my favorite footwear release, I guess from Kanye in the past. I also really like the season three boots, but it's hard to find those at a reasonable price. Sometimes uh, I got both of these at a pretty good price, in my opinion. Uh, but it did take a while. I just had to keep lurking on Grailed. Uh, yeah, these are these are killer. I love the sand colorway. It's it's just so nice. Now that that's over, let's get to clothes. And first off, let's start with Vujade. So I picked up a few items from Vujade's most recent collection. This is the flannel that they had. I have number 46 out of 105 or 150. Love this, love this flannel. Um, I'm planning on doing uh, more of like a Sashiko stitch repair for the blown out elbow. I just find it a little bit big for me for the elbow uh, blowouts. And I'm probably gonna see if I can use maybe some of my leftover selvage denim from the challenge where I cropped it up and I can see if I can like stitch it in or maybe ask my tailor to do that. But this is such a nice thick quality flannel and just the amount of details I think is kind of crazy and immaculate. It just looks like with all of the distressing and all of those like little details, it's it genuinely feels like a designer's piece, which, I mean, if you're paying this much, I, I think it should feel like a designer's piece, if you get what I'm saying. It's just, like, it is pricey, but I think it's quite fantastic. So this is probably my favorite item from the collection. I also ended up picking up the Mori trousers. Uh, so... Mori trousers are very, very nice. Like these, like the matcha green of it. Now my only complaint is that these fit a bit tight in my opinion. I'll, I'll do an on body so I can show you guys what I mean, but they do fit a bit tight. And I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can like ask my tailor to maybe stretch it out a little bit or like something like that. So uh, I'll probably post on my Instagram if I end up letting these guys go just because they do fit a bit tight on the thigh as well as a little bit on the waist or in I guess like the butt area. So I also picked up the pleated sweatpants in black. Uh, I think these are very nice. The fit is a little bit interesting. I got these in, I think a small, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I got these in a small. Uh, I do like the drawstrings. They're a very uh, sturdy drawstring, but the fit of it is a little bit interesting. Still debating whether or not I like it, but it is of like a thick French terry. So I personally like it, as well as the nice embroidery on the back. This embroidery reminds me of uh, almost uh, like initial D in a weird way. And next, the last two I guess that I picked up are these two cargo pants from Hidden Characters. Uh, I'll do on bodies of these. I got the black, the classic black, as well as this dark uh, mocha colorway. I really, really liked H Hidden Characters. Their band, the brand that I've been following since Hypebeast forums and they've just been progressing very, very well. Oh, I also got a hoodie from them. Can't believe I almost forgot. Mustard colored hoodie that I think just looks super, super clean. I also like the fit of this guy. The fit is quite interesting as well as the cuts. This is like one of their new hoodie, I guess, cuts and fit. 
Uh, their previous ones were nice as well, but this is such a nice, like almost teddy bear-esque. Uh, that's how soft I think it is and very comfortable, very nice. Um, they're a great brand to follow, small brand, and I would definitely recommend uh, giving them a look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please comment down below if there's any items here that you would like me to do a bit more of like a deeper dive into. Uh, thank you again so much for your support. It means the world. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Adios. Ah. Can I hear me a little bit louder? They will overcome. The devil is using you, confusing you. Our job is to understand who is sued. Righteous indignation.